All right, what is up guys? So in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different, which is I'm going to build a MP live where it's not pre-recorded. So this is all live. And if you're interested in starting a SaaS, which is just a building step, let's say you have an idea that you found off of Exploding Insights. So Exploding Insights, basically you can find profitable ideas. So you found an idea and the next step is building it. So I'm, I'm going to go through how I build products fast and how you can also build product SaaS that you can test and sell within a weekend. Just to give some context of what I've already done, the idea that I want to build out is this database of marketing leads. If you guys are familiar with Apollo, basically it's like a list of people that you might find on LinkedIn and each row, it has information about the person. So this person, it tells you their company, their position, and also gives you their email and phone number. I have this list of marketing managers that I bought from someone and I want to package it into a database that I can then sell. I highly recommend that you try it out um, because it makes creating nice UIs and dashboards very easy. So let me show you guys what I've already created. I think I was able to create this landing page or this dashboard with just three prompts. I gave it one image and then I told it to um, convert it into Tailwind and HTML. And then you can see that it gave me a bunch of different um, versions, but I didn't like the version. So I told it to improve it. And this is like on prompt number three, and it was able to get this. So I'm going to improve the UI a, a little bit more, and I'm going to make it presentable enough that I can sell to other people either on my Twitter or probably through cold emailing. L let me show you guys the database or data set that I already have. For a lot of MVPs, you actually don't need some complicated like framework or library. What you really just need is like a HTML that has all the code and data. So here you can see that I have one page with just the HTML and this is just the dashboard and the data set, which is here. So this is like a list of marketing managers and it's like a list of 10,000 people or I think this is actually just a subset of my larger list right now in the UI, it's just the, a small dummy set. So these aren't actually the real data. So what I need to do in this video is use the, the data that I have in my local directory. So use, use the actual data. And then probably I need to update the a bit more so that it also includes the email plus phone number and the company. So probably just tell Claude to include all of these columns up here. And after it does that, then it should be able to have a complete product, which I can sell over email. So yeah, let's get right into it. So in Claude, if you guys don't know this new model on um, 3.5 Sonnet is pretty insane. I would say like previously I was like really bad at front end design, but like with this model, it, it makes it so much easier. So let's go over and tell it what I need. So also I'm really bad at front ends. M most of the front end stuff I do is just copy and pasting from Claude. So yeah, if you guys also suck at UI, this is like a lifesaver. I would tell it to add one column for email. Actually, what I can do is I can just give it this and tell it to update the table so that all this information is included in the table, table columns. Also, the nice thing about Claude right now is that it will give you the code plus the preview of the design. I'm not sure why it's not showing right now, but it, typically for other stuff, it'll allow you to actually see what the website would look like in Claude itself. So it's very useful. In this case, it's just giving me the code, which is good enough because I just copy this and put it into my HTML page. Also, one thing I wanted to call out is that you'll notice that all of the buttons and clickables are working in this HTML page. And that's something that I, I had to specify in the prompt. So if it initially gives you like a UI that isn't responsive, then just prompt it and it should be able to fix it. So here you can see that if I refresh the page, it has like this button here, which I can X out and it properly updates the UI. So it's pretty nice. Sometimes Claude will only give new code or context that is updated. So here you'll see that it doesn't actually give the entire code because it assumes that you already know it. 
So there's two options. The first option is you can tell it to update in the prompt itself. So you can just tell it, give me all the code. Or the alternative is just take this code and put it inside cursor. So cursor is like this AI code editor. And what you can do is within cursor, you can just highlight the entire code and do control command L and it'll prompt this little chatbot thing. And what you can do is probably just copy and paste this inside the editor uh, or the chatbot and tell it to update the code based on your new input. And it should be able to update your code based on the new response. So those are like the two options. If it doesn't give you all of the code back, typically though, I found that if you ask in Claude itself, it's much easier because you don't have to copy and paste back and forth. So just ask it to give all the code and it should give all the code. Yeah. That's like another quick tip. Also, the other thing is sometimes it won't give back all of the response. So what you need to do is you need to copy and paste this first into the editor, then tell it to complete the rest of the code. If you don't copy and paste it, it actually doesn't save the rest of the input that, I mean, it doesn't save the response that it's already given that will be deleted. So make sure that you're copy and pasting it first. So here you can see that it's cleared the entire code that it generated before. So that's why you want to save it before it makes the new response. Quick tip for that. So yeah, now it's given me back all of this. I would just copy and paste here and yeah, let's see what the, what the UI looks like now. It looks like it updated the, this people thing here, but I didn't update the, the actual table column. So I need to make some changes. Contact. Oh wait, this is actually a different file. So let me just close this and open the right file main.html. So just do that. And this is a new file and yeah, all the columns are now updated, but the, the code is a bit messed up. I think it's because it's not inputting the right. Okay. So I got this error before. Basically this thing is not correct. Update the right view library. Import. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like view three and yeah. In cursor, you can just do control command K and just do one line changes. So that's pretty quick and useful thing to do. And now you can see that it's got all of the stuff and then it has the phone number and email right here and everything else is looking the same, right? So it's pretty good. Yeah. The other, probably the other feature that I was going to add is actually using the live data. So right now it's just using the dummy data. Let's say I want to use this live data instead, right? So what you can do is in cursor in Claude, just type it. I have a CSV of data that I want to pull from change the code so that I pull from this data. So let's change this file name to data.csv and then make the right changes to get that data. So even if you're not really good with front end, like I am, it'll tell you like how you can make those changes in Claude, which is why this is like insane if you want to prototype stuff really fast. So here it says that you need the file reader API. So right now I'm using HTML and Tailwind and Vue. So Vue is like the front end library that I'm using. So yeah, the only bad part is that this sometimes takes a bit long, but yeah, let's see, where is the file reader API? All right. This probably is a bit too complicated to do on just front end. What I would probably do is I'm going to host the data on my backend, the Django app. And then after I have it hosted, then I would just call the API to get all of the data. Let me do that. And I will come back with what that shows. All right, guys. So I'm back and I I'm hosting the data or the CSV on my own local web app. So now I can just access it by going to slash static slash data CSV. And then what I would do is I would call this API to get the data and then update this table based on all of the data in the CSV. Let me show you guys what I mean. So this data, this CSV has all the data, right? So I have this hosted on my local web app. And then what I'm doing is I'm calling this API or I'm calling the API to get the data. And then I would update this this table based on that data. So that way the data is updated with all of my real, I think I'm going to add more data to it and probably update the UI to make it a bit cleaner and a bit nicer. But yeah, that's all I have for this build section of the MVP. Next, I would next video. I'm going to 
make a summary of how I'm planning to package the entire app and sell it in emails. So that's the next video. Hope you guys liked it. So in summary, you don't really need a lot of these fancy libraries or fancy board place to actually build a MVP. What you need is just a one single HTML page. And if you use Claude, you can probably get it done within one weekend. That's how I build it. And the key thing is just to sell and make sure that people actually want what you're building. Enjoy. See you guys.